So the three things I love about whiskey sours are, they make me feel good, <laughs> they make my friends feel good, and you can have the leftovers for breakfast the next day. <laughs> oh, let's just make whiskey sours. I'm gonna show you the whiskey sours in a second, but first I'm gonna show you three really easy appetizers I like to serve. Things that require no cooking at all. So like salted cashews right out of the container. Make sure they're fresh. Cherry tomatoes. I remember going to a hotel in Italy where they served these with drinks. It was like little potato chips and nuts and olives and really simple things, but in really pretty silver bowls. Makes it look very elegant and it takes no time at all. Slices of good salami. Okay, those are the hors d'oeuvres. I mean, that's it. Okay, let's make some whiskey sours. So I make them in a pitcher. I hate recipes for cocktails one at a time. I always make a whole batch, so that's the whole point. You want to drink it with your friends. So the first thing I have is fresh lime juice, half a cup. It's got to be freshly squeezed juice. Makes all the difference. No sour mix here. Half a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Lots of bourbon. Three quarters of a cup. I know, it's a lot of bourbon. These are really good whiskey sours. I think I got a taste for whiskey sours when my father used to have them in the 50s. And he would give us the cherry. That's all we were allowed to have. <laughs> Next is 2 thirds of a cup of sugar syrup. I made it just by combining a cup of water, cup of sugar, heated it just until the sugar dissolves. And let it cool. Okay, give it a big stir. This makes about four drinks. Now the key to this is the ice. So, I've got a cocktail shaker. Clear the decks. I'm gonna fill it like two thirds full with ice. The ice is actually incredibly important in a drink. How you dilute the drink makes all the difference in how it tastes. I learned it from a bartender in California. So, fill this about two thirds full, pour in the drink. And it's important that the cocktail mixture is at room temperature. If it's cold, it won't dilute as much. Oh, got it. Okay, and now I have to shake it for 30 seconds, and trust me, it's longer than you think. That's not even five seconds. I just feel like Tom Cruise in cocktail. <laughs> Can I throw it up in the air? No. <laughs> just keep shaking. Or get your friends to do it. That's even better. I actually made these once for Susan Stroman, who brought Nathan Lane to dinner. And I thought, what would Nathan Lane like to drink? And I thought, I don't know why, I thought whiskey sours. So I walked in, I handed him a whiskey sour, and he said, I haven't had these since my mother used to have them in the 50s. And he was off to the races, he was so funny. Okay, is it 30 seconds yet? I think it is. Okay, everything tastes better in a martini glass, so that's what I'm gonna serve this in. And just pour it in. Oh, that looks fabulous. I've got one more thing. Instead of maraschino cherries, which they're traditionally served with, I actually marinated some dried cherries in bourbon. I'm just gonna put a few on a skewer. And it kind of sweetens the drink. And I just put them in the microwave for 60 seconds, and you've got marinated cherries. And that's my favorite drink, whiskey sours. Cheers. Wow, that's good. This recipe and more can be found in my book, Barefoot Contessa at Home, or at barefootcontessa.com.